Jado is back out of here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 9 episode reaction video. But before I continue with that, it's extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead that you take the initiative and pay attention to this episode title, which of course I'll put in the description for you. If that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I suggest, and so does everybody else, that you avoid watching this due to major potential spoilers. This is going to be The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode Number 4. The title of this episode is called The Obliged. This will be my reaction, review, recap of the episode. Keep in mind, I've seen it a few times, just doing a reaction to it, have it on my channel, and also doing a reaction to it due to the, due to the fact that they announced that The Walking Dead Season 11 is going to be the final season of the main Walking Dead show. We start off at Alexandria, where Michonne is overseeing the community, raising Judith and writing her proposed code of laws to the communities. But at night, she ventures off to fend off walkers. During one event, she loses her katana briefly, but finds the closest weapon at hand to defend herself, which of course is a baseball bat. That causes her to think of Negan, who we know is at Alexandria inside a cell. And she goes to visit him, or goes to see him, I should say, after learning he is actually on a hunger strike. And the two talk about their past. Michonne, or I should say Negan, having lost his wife, Lucio, and Michonne having lost her son, Andre. When Negan asks what happened to his baseball bat, Lucio, Michonne is, tells him it's still out there somewhere, causing Negan to fall into anguish. So Negan is not happy that his bat is nowhere to be found at the moment. And then at the scavenger's junkyard, Jadis slash Anne has secured Gabriel and threatens to let loose an armless walker on him. Gabriel tries to convince her to let him go, apologizing for his own past mistakes. Anne slash Jadis cannot bring herself to kill him and instead knocks him out. When Gabriel awakes, he finds himself alone in a junkyard. A note from Anne slash Jadis in his coat explaining that she is left for places unknown. Maggie, Daryl, and the Oceanside group conspire to assassinate Negan. They know Rick will not let Maggie into Alexandria as she has made her intentions pretty clear and start to work out a plan to bring Maggie into Alexandria without Rick's knowledge. Jesus, who is hesitant about this course of action, covertly contacts Rick to warn him. Rick is overseeing the takedown of the bridge construction camp as without the saviors, it is unlikely they will be able to finish the bridge in time before rising waters wash it away. Eugene warns Rick of two large hordes seen in the area, but both are moving divergent to their routes. Rick gets Jesus' Jesus's word and decides to head to um, Alexandria. And then he contacts one of the Alexandria people are the Alexandria watch points to tell them to be on the lookout for Maggie, unaware that the watch point is a member of the Oceanside and is compliant in Maggie's plan. And then when Rick prepares to go horseback, Daryl offers to drive him there instead via motorcycle. Rick becomes concerned when Daryl purposely misses the turnoff for Alexandria. He demands Daryl stop the bike and the two get into a fist fight. Both end up falling into a deep pit off the road that they could not easily climb out of. They realize their conflict with Daryl reminding how many people have helped him and how some of his decisions have come to hurt those and others, like Glenn. The two agree to work together to escape the pit. And then at the construction camp, the remaining survivors are preparing to move out when a group of saviors led by Jed, this annoying Jed guy, who I completely forgot about rewatching this, uh, hold them at gunpoint. He de demands that the group turn over the weapons for the saviors to pre protect themselves since they know that Oceanside has been killing off other saviors. Carol lowers her weapon, but then Jed approaches her. The Oceanside survivors intervene. A firefight breaks out. Rick and Daryl hear the sounds of gunfire and rush to escape. Just as they start clearing the edge, the edge Walkers from one of the approaching hordes drawn by the sound of gunfire start falling into the pit, but both still manage to get out alive. And then Rick is like killing walkers left and right because Daryl's still down in the pit at the moment. And then eventually Daryl gets out. Now Rick sees a loose horse nearby and offers to lead the walker horde away from the camp while Daryl drives off to warn them. Rick on horseback leads the horde along but is surprised when the other horde that Eugene warned him of is converging on the same point. 
So the horse becomes frightened, this stupid white horse, by two horse, hordes, and rears, knocking Rick off its back. And then Rick lands hard on a concrete block and finds a piece of rebar has impaled his side, and he's unable to move. And then Rick slowly loses consciousness as the two hordes converge on him. And they do like that shot where they, they're zoomed in, and then they zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, like in the first episode of The Walking Dead. Um, where the, he's in a tank and it zooms out, but they don't play the, the music. So, days gone by that episode, by the way. Yeah, so, interesting episode. It sets up some interesting things in the Walking Dead series. Rick was a badass in this episode. Daryl and Rick got into a fight for a little bit. And uh, Michonne is doing a lot of multitasking. Negan is upset that he doesn't have his best friend, his baseball bat. And it's pretty depressing. So I'm going to give this episode a score of an 8 point set on the not a 10. And Rick is going to be the character of this episode. It's going to be interesting, especially in the next episode. And I assume all of you know what the next episode is. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you like this episode of The Obliged from Season 9, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead anyway, maybe this episode wasn't your favorite. Although it's pretty good, so I don't see why you wouldn't like it. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you know anyone that would be interested in this, go ahead and share the video to them. Don't forget to leave me a comment with your thoughts or anything realistically Walking Dead related, whatever you want to talk about. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.